It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And this one features Trevor Lawrence. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Pats and the Dolphins. And it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Bay State in Massachusetts. Welcome to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Greg Wild. First month of the calendar in the NFL. Had some great games, some finishes that were pretty special. The usual surprises. Now, we hit October, and like you said, this is where the season really gets going. Yeah, doesn't it just feel like on the NFL calendar, every month kind of has its own vibe, right? It's September, but you're starting to figure out how good you are. You don't even know how good your own team is, let alone the rest of the league. But once the calendar page turns to October, things start to become a little bit more clear. We know the contenders. We know the team. The veteran kicker, Dustin Hopkins, out to get things started. And off we go from Foxborough. This is going to be taken in at the three. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. Man in motion is Smith. They'll run it for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. There you get a look at his numbers on the ground a week ago as a part of their victory. Second and seven. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. What can they do here on third down and seven? McBride is the motion man. That one caught by Smith. 17 yards on that connection. First down, Miami. It's a really important conversion right there, Mike, because you just don't want to go three and out on the road especially on your opening possession of the game you want to let your offense get some rhythm establish and unfold some of the game plan you've set up coming in they're gonna have a fresh set of downs here and now say okay can we turn this good start of a drive and finish the drive with some points McBride is the motion man. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. So they go backwards on first down. We're second and 13. They'll run out of the gun. It is Swift. He'll get about two. Levante David doing his work on defense. A tough spot here. Third and long. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. And it's going to be fourth down. Punt team comes out. Dolphins going to kick it away. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. Leading them out, the former number one overall pick back in the 2021 draft, it's Trevor Lawrence. There's really no way around it, Mike. I mean, let's just call it what it is. This has been a disastrous start to their season thus far. I mean, they desperately need to get a win and change some of the energy in that building because I can assure you, I've been there before. As these losses stack up, every day becomes more and more of a drag. And then all of a sudden you get that one big win and the spirits of the building just change overnight. They need that. Can today be that spark? Because if not, they're in for a long season. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start.
Automatic first down. Line of scrimmage is the 31 as they line up first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. The pressure gets there and down he goes back inside the 20 yard line. George Karloftis, the former Boilermaker, in there for the sack. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down move up cut your losses now not only do you lose that down but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive work to do now as they come up on second and long first carry for one of the league's best workhorses Derek Henry and a nice run there as he surges forward a gain of eight and sets up third down Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That is caught. He got Godwin. The defense blows a chance to get off the field as the offense converts third and 14. A first down throw for Lawrence. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Searching for his Pro Bowl tight end Mark Andrews that time. And it'll bring up second down. Lawrence. He'll complete this one. That's Debo Samuel. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. To throw is Lawrence. He's got his tight end. That's Andrew. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. On the handoff, it's Henry. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They go play action for Lawrence. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. A give right up the middle to Henry. Fighting off defenders here. He'll churn forward and pick up three. He'll come to the line now on second and two. To throw is Lawrence. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Looking to convert for the third time on this drive. They'll need another here. It's third and two. They'll try and run for this with Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards. We'll give him four yards. It was third and two as they convert. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short. Just get the ball to your running back. Make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down. And they're able to convert. On first down, Lawrence. There's a short one caught by Andrews. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Lawrence. That's caught. Derrick Henry. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. Henry tries to pull his way in. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third and goal. It's now third and goal. Play action now. It's... Oh, got him again the second time. 
with a sack on this opening drive. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This about as short as you can get. Hopkins kick is good. And the pass will take a 3-0 lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. The Dolphins offense ready to see the football for the second time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. They go play action with Mayfield. He'll get it into the hands of Garrett Wilson. And they're going to mark him down up past the 35. So from the 36, it is first and 10. From the gun, it's Mayfield. This one complete to Palmer. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. The Patriots out on top. And we're back to Foxborough in a moment. They'll come up now for second down and four. Now Mayfield. Quick slant into the hands of Wilson. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Throwing is Baker. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. Here's third and two. They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage. The stop made at the 31, but a new set of downs. First down picked up. Here's Mayfield. To the outside, he's got Smith. A game there of 11. Good for a Dolphins first down. To throw is Mayfield. Catch made right side by Wilson. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three fourth coming. Mayfield to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. On the give, here's Swift. And the Dolphins are going to have it first and goal. He'll take this one down to about the three-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. They'll try to run with Swift. And he will take this one across into the end zone. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Dolphins. 
It's his third touchdown on the year. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. The return starts from the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. The trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. In motion comes Andrews. On first and ten, Lawrence. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throwing is Lawrence. This one caught by Patrick. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. For any long developing play like that to work, everyone on the offensive side of the ball has to do their job at a high level. First, the pass protection has to hold up. Then, the receiver has to be able to separate from his man defender. And then, of course, the quarterback has to be on time and on target with the ball. And when you do, you move the chains. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. Samuel has it working in the middle. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Off the play pick. Here's Lawrence. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of... Gerard Mayo not happy with that last call, and here comes the challenge flag. They're looking both at the feet to see if two were down, but also whether or not he had full possession of the football when those feet were down. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. Lawrence from the gun here on third down. That is caught. He got Godwin. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. Lawrence now to throw on first down. Taking off. And he slides and covers up at the end. Avoids the hit. And picked up decent yardage along the way. Here's a second and six. Working out of the gun. It's Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Now Lawrence. And on third down, that ball incomplete. And this passing game continues to come up short these last couple plays. That's two consecutive incompletions in a row. Now they're staring fourth down right in the face. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Patriots are back within one. It's seven to six. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. On 
first and ten. Here's Baker. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. And they're going to have this all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. They'll come up here first and ten. Here comes Swift. They toss it right. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Reek Woolen brings him down. Off the play fake. It's Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Of the shotgun. Mayfield. He'll try and get there on the ground. And he's into a slide to avoid the contact. Does so successfully. And it's a first down. Give him 11 on the scramble. And give them a new set of downs. Two minutes to play in a tight one point game in this first half. We're back to Foxborough after this. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Baker to throw. That's complete to Moore on the right side. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the... That one, take it in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Miami. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. First down throw for Lawrence. This one on target to Godwin. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. First and 10. They'll motion over Samuel. On first down, Lawrence. They go right back to Godwin. He's got it again. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. New England going to take their second time out receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove and there's these weird times in the game Mike where it just seems like every ball comes your way every play they call you're wide open and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about so they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field there's no mistake in who it is the Pats gonna stop it here they'll use their third and final timeout they get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to play in this first half In motion comes Andrews. Here's Lawrence. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, 
the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. He was trying to hook up with Debo Samuel that time, and that'll set up fourth down. And the Patriots ready to kick it away. And back deep is Devin DuVernay to return. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Dolphins offense and receiver Devontae Smith take the field for their next drive. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. For the middle, that's caught by Moore. And he's got this up close to the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. One final throw before the break. A short one here, caught by McBride. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was the visiting Bucks who were able to come in and win one on the road. Bo Nix, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with the hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Samuel, going to see what he can do be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the Patriots offense ready to get going again they'll have it first in this third quarter before this next drive gets started I want to tell you what's coming up in prime time here in week five first week of October starts tonight with Sunday Night Football memories of the 70s sure to come to mind as the Cowboys and Steelers meet it's in Pittsburgh at 8.20 Eastern, followed tomorrow by Monday Night Football. It's the Saints against the champion Chiefs at Arrowhead. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? Still second down. Play action now. It's Lawrence. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds to throw is Lawrence Godwin working the right side and they bring him down but not until they get inside the 30 yard line points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today Mike but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for a little bit of rhythm the ability to sustain now they got to finish now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six and the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Lawrence. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. 
For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This will be from 47 yards. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Pats are back within five. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. This will be returned from the six. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, it's Mayfield. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Back to the air, it's Mayfield. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. And this drive is over before it can start. He swallowed up to force fourth down. I'll tell you what, if the offensive linemen had the same level of fight and effort that the quarterback did, they wouldn't be in this situation. It's a shame because that individual effort went a long way towards extending that play, and it still ended up resulting in a sack. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here, and they'll begin it with first and ten. They'll start out on the ground with Henry. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. They'll motion over Samuel. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. Thrown quickly, taken in by Godwin. The tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. On first and ten, Lawrence. There's a short one caught by Andrews. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And, man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. He connects with Gray on that one. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Gray is the motion man here. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. That's to the right side. He's got Andrews. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Ball sitting on the three. It is first down and goal. Now 
Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. Lawrence now on second down. To the goal line and in. Touchdown, Patriots. It felt like they needed a touchdown. Greg, in the worst way, after getting those early field goals to find the end zone, big boost for this offense. And it felt like they really needed it, as you said, Mike, to come away with three previous drives ending in field goals and not being able to cross it over the goal line for six. It starts to wear on you as an offense. You start having a little doubt, saying, hey, can we finish any of these drives? Now they finally do. And we can expect this to kind of start to roll throughout the rest of this game. That's going to be caught. So add a couple more points, and they add to their lead. ready to go once more as the kicks away this one taken at the seven he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start so they come to the line for first down and ten here's Mayfield that's taken in left side by Smith. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Now Mayfield. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. Here's Swift. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Another run here, another run by Swift. And he'll get about four out of that one. That should be enough to move the chains. It is first down. On play action, Mayfield. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. So touchdowns are always the primary goal of every drive, but when you find yourself down three here in the second half, you've just got to find a way to tie the game up, and they were able to do that here. Samuel, going to see what he can do. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Pates offense and Trevor Lawrence set to take over once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Second down and three. Brings up second and three. 
So we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. In motion comes Andrews. Second down, Lawrence. Throw to the sideline. Well done. Good job with the feet. Stays in bounds. It looks like, and yes, they do have the first down. In motion comes Andrews. Lawrence now to throw on first down. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. The throw, left side, caught by Andrews. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. Six catches for him in the ball game now. And this one's good for a first down. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame them. A first down throw for Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Gray. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. In motion comes Andrews. Now second down throw for Lawrence. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard working out of the gun it's Lawrence and he's in Mark Andrews touchdown New England Greg every touchdown counts the same but the ones you get in the fourth quarter they are the ones that feel a little more important yeah now the pressure shifts to your defense your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? Extra point up and good from Hopkins. And the Pats will go up by seven. So the lead is seven now. Here in this fourth quarter, the tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. Now an opening past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been unquestionably the star of the show as they have just absolutely had no answer on the defensive side of the ball. A quick throw on the slant taken in by Smith. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. Off the play fit, it's Mayfield. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass. And he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. John Runyon, the guilty party. They'll run here. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. 
When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. From the 35, it's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. He'll tuck it and take off. And he's able to take this for good yardage before sliding and hitting the deck to end the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. To throw is Mayfield. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throwing is Baker. That's over the middle and caught by Smith. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here we go. Third and a yard. Baker to throw. He'll try to run for And he will win the race to the pylon. He's in. Baker Mayfield. Touchdown, Dolphins. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter. And now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They'll stick to the ground. Finding room at the 35. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. That's a heck of a run right here, Mike. Tie game, fourth quarter. Everything's on the line. Can you win in the trenches? Can the threat of that run continue to balance off the pass? And that's a big game there as they try to go take this lead. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. He'll run. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. Still first down. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. 
In motion comes Andrews. This one caught by Patrick. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Two minutes to play in regulation. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Here's Henry. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. Now, he runs. Now the Dolphins are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. This kick is good! They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Dolphins' offense ready to get back at it. They'll do so with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's caught over the middle. It's Wilson. It is second down and five. From the gun, it's Mayfield. That's into the hands of Moore. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Now Mayfield. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. They'll come up now for second down. Back to the air. It's Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete, but a flag down in the backfield. That's the area we usually see holding. Tevin Jenkins. The man called for the flag. On second down, Baker. He'll go underneath to Swift. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Catch made right side by Wilson. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And this is not going to do it. The defense comes through here in the final minute. And it may just be enough to get them a victory. The Dolphins going to use their final timeout here. Lost one on the last play. So now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So it's a win for the Patriots. They get the victory away from home in the division. Those are so valuable. And they'll get another shot in their place next time later in the season. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners at home. As we say so long from Foxborough.